Assalamu alaikum and welcome back sisters. You're watching Women's AM with myself Hassana and joining us on the panel today we have Sister Liz and Sister Nazia. Well it's time for our next segment now where we'll be discussing foods that we can eat which are, oh sorry I'm a bit tongue tied today, which are particularly beneficial for women. So sisters, tell us a little bit about more about what we should be eating. Sister Liz, let's well, come well, to I you actually first. came across a really great article online called Six Superfoods Every Woman Should Know. Um, so uh, it kind of went through all these different foods and how it, uh, you know, how it benefits uh, particularly women, but I think just uh, a healthy diet in general. Uh, the first one, um, low-fat yogurt, um, you know, okay. obvious one. Um, this, uh, and I think it was saying fermented dairy products in general are very good because they contain healthy probiotics um, or uh, you know bacteria that, that actually um, maintain a healthy body you know in many many different ways um, and there's you know strong evidence that it helps other conditions as well such as um, IBS um, and stomach ulcers um, also it's a really great um, source of calcium um, and women uh, at every age need a higher uh, daily level of calcium than men calcium, so sure. You know, this is something we should all be eating a lot more of. To be honest, it tastes really great too. So, you yeah, know, um, it's, it's always nice to have some yogurt, particularly in the morning. I think it makes a really good breakfast um, yeah. breakfast treat or, or just a snack throughout the day. I, I often find that yogurt's really, really great for that. But yeah, I mean, that, I, I, I didn't know that. I mean, we hear this term probiotic quite a lot and healthy bacteria, and it kind of almost is a little bit scary. Like, how can bacteria be healthy? But um, the reality is, we all need a, a good dose of, of healthy bacteria. So it's, they it's kind of become sort of like almost that. jargony and like buzzwords. <laughs> But yeah. there is actually real, you know, no, it's, scientific it's, evidence there behind is it. The healthy so, bacteria. Yeah. Really interesting. Healthy bacteria so for so the Nadia, gut. You've got some ideas for us as well. I do. The ones that I'm suggesting are, um, are berries, actually. Blueberries oh. and also cranberry juice. And these are really, really good because they prevent and treat bladder infections um, by making it hard for bacteria to actually stick to urinary tract walls. So those women you know, who experience UT, uh, UTIs, you know, in fact, you know, they, they, they're really good for these things, you know. Um, definitely the, the juice itself. Orange juice, this is another one, um, one of the richest source of folic acid. So oh. I didn't know that actually, but I know mm. we often hear about the citrus fruits being good for other areas, but yeah. just that alone for me, I thought that was quite good actually when you think about folic acid is quite you know, you need it for pregnancies. And Definitely. actually, the, the kind of berry family in general, yeah. <laughs> um, you know, so like blueberries, strawberries, raspberries, cranberries, yeah. um, they, they actually are a very good source of vitamin C and folic acid, which obviously, you know, yeah. during childbearing age is um, uh, but particularly uh, good for women to increase their intake of that. But also, they have powerful antioxidants in them I was just that can say actually that. Uh, prevent ageing from the inside mm. out. It's great for your skin, absolutely <laughs> yeah. fantastic. And, you know, often we kind of see berries being used in, in, as, as a way of kind of uh, rejuvenating the skin. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so I, I think berries are fantastic, absolutely. Mm -hmm. But kind of moving on to more, like, solid foods, if you were. So mm -hmm. things that you could have, actually, for your dinner. Um, mm -hmm. I know fish is a really great one as well, isn't it? Um, uh, I think fatty fishes, like salmon, fatty are Fatty fishes, really so sardines, good. salmon, mackerel. Um, it's recommended for a woman if you can to have two to three servings per week. Per uh, week? Per week, yeah. Wow. I mean, yeah. How many of us actually have that amount of fish in a, in a week? It's true, it's true. And, and the thing is, you know, it, it, like you said, it does taste good. So, <laughs> you know, we're kind of not making the most of these foods that taste Absolutely. good. Um, and, you know, there's a lot of things that these foods can um, help to protect us against. Um, you know, hypertension, heart disease, joint pain, wow. you know, all that it's kind really of thing. My, my parents used to tell me that fish is brain food as well, but I don't know how much <laughs> science there is you in know, that. You know, my parents used to tell me that too. I think it's just a parent's thing. Yeah. Kind of, you know, just to encourage you to eat your fish and, and your greens too. Yeah. Um, so yeah, definitely. I mean, when I was looking into this as well, I found that salmon was recommended, um, but also because of the omega-3, yeah. which um, actually helps to boost your mood as well. So mm -hmm. uh, we were talking earlier about um, uh, PCOS, and uh, you know, sometimes uh, people who are going through this condition can suffer from mood um, swings or, or depression. And I think looking for foods that actually help your mood are really, really um, essential as yeah. well, because there are some foods that, that do, mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, increase your mood and, and, and make you kind of um, happier. So yeah. I mean, if salmon, uh, you know, eating salmon does that, then then why not? There's Absolutely. definitely everyone needs a healthy dose of a, of a good mood. I think. Absolutely. Well, another one that I found, which I found was really interesting, 
is actually lentils um, and this is a really rich source of iron and I didn't know this because obviously we know in the subcontinent they do have a lot of lentils within their diet um, and I always thought it was just because of you know that's kind of uh, freely available there but it's actually really really good for you so 30% um, uh, of your daily iron is, is per uh, you know in every kind of cooked cup of, oh, of wow. lentils so that's really really good and particularly for young women um, often who can be low in iron which could yeah. in some cases lead to anemia it is good to look for um, uh, food which are rich in iron and I know you can get that in some meats but it's always nice to have a kind of vegetarian yeah. alternative for people yeah. who aren't uh, big meat fans yeah. um, I mean you know that's me so definitely lentils is a great way of going about that sister Nazi have you got any more for us there in well I'm going to look at the vegetables okay brilliant because I think um, cabbage uh, cabbage is supposed to help make it uh, it's got a lot of um, healthy Attributes. I to do it. have to come in there. A lot of people don't like cabbage. Though, I know, right? but it's you know what? Those Actually, like, oh, it's the no. foods that people hate. <laughs> I mean, I have this discussion with my kids. I keep telling them, please, would you eat your greens? Yeah. Including the dinner lady who says that. But you know, there are <laughs> so many yeah. things with the green vegetables that you really need to have those in your diet. You know, celery. It doesn't. Again, it's another great one. It can lower your blood pressure and cholesterol. Um, and actually, even moving just away from the um, the vegetables, I was looking. At at turmeric which is a spice a brilliant spice absolutely. and I, I didn't know this but um, turmeric uh, it comes it's from compounds called curcumins and it's actually known to reduce the size of tumors in animals by 50 percent wow. but I mean just you know the thing is with a lot of the foods we know this Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says he tells us that he's provided as a bounty and full of you know the, the the things that he has given us and within all of these things there's so much nutrition and goodness yeah. that I think it's just something that um, you know there are a lot of the foods that get kind of neglected mm. and I think we live in this kind of processed food kind of world now that actually we're, we're actually missing out on really vital Definitely. source of vitamins minerals and goodness and but of course I mean we would recommend with all of these things that you do kind of seek that kind of professional advice and you speak yeah. to a nutritionist a dietitian and your yeah. GP but this you is just from a healthy this, just diet a healthy point kind of view perspective. Yeah. absolutely exactly. I mean I've this is not medical no definitely I mean I've <laughs> taken medical. away quite no. a lot from this and um, particularly about the turmeric it, yeah. it is yeah. really really yeah. great um, yeah. and I I've, I've, I've used it myself and it's, yeah. it's also good for, for coughs and colds as well so there we go oh. if anyone's suffering from a bit of a, a spring cough um turmeric in some milk um, and yeah. tastes quite good too so yeah oh, really really interesting yeah. there well I've uh, definitely taken away some interesting foodie ideas I think I know what I'm gonna have for my dinner today <laughs> well interesting tips there as always it's been a jam-packed show but unfortunately we have come to the end of today's program we are of course back tomorrow with our third episode of the women's health series where we'll be discussing cervical cancer so do join us then for that interesting topic before we go here's another quick reminder of this week's competition this week on Women's AM, we are holding an exciting competition for you sisters out there. Up for Grabs is a year's subscription for a sisters magazine. To be in with a chance to win this fabulous goodie, all you have to do is answer the following question. Which is the shortest surah in the Quran? A. Surah al kawtar B. Surah Tawbah C. Surah al fatiha D. Surah al nas To enter, email your answer A, B, C or D to Women's AM at islamchannel.tv along with your name and address and what you most like about Women's AM. The deadline for the entry is Friday the 18th of April 2014 at 4 p.m. All applicants need to be over 18 and residing in the UK. Please note only one entry per person per household. A winner will be randomly selected from all correct entries so get entering. What a great competition there. So definitely get those entries in. And I'd like to end the show with a reminder that we should all continue to seek knowledge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his deen. But most importantly, that we implement it in our daily lives. As Imam Shafi'i said, knowledge without action is arrogance. Well, Jazakallah khair to all the sisters on the panel and of course our special guest. Until tomorrow, do remember us and the ummah in your du'as. We'll see you then. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.
Are you looking for a Sharia-compliant, tax-efficient way to save? Islamic Bank of Britain offers the UK's only Sharia-compliant cash ISA, helping you to benefit.